Huh, really weird that Breakman suddenly put on that weird face mask and is now a Cyclops, but whatever. Alright, time for the final battle in, I guess, Hardman's stage. Alright, so, he works basically exactly as he does in every other fight with them. Except, of course, this one's one of the raised platform fights, which, you know, not fond of that, but it's not in the middle of the stage, so hey, it's actually a lot easier for me, because even when I had to reset for getting hits, uh, it wasn't a huge deal. But, uh, yeah, there's really not much to say about that, and oh, he's done already. Hmm, well, I guess that's the end of the game. What? A bad thing happened. <gasps> not Will A! No! To think he would betray us like this! What's Wily going to think? Oh wait, it was Wily. <laughs> I do love that typo! Like, they didn't even typo it as, like, Willy. Somehow they managed to make it into Will A. Oh well, I guess they just spelled it how it sounded. Alright, so, Wily Castle. Now I can finally talk about the other reason I don't like the Doc Robot stages. So, Mega Man 3 began the tradition of two sets of final levels. And honestly, I'm really not fond of its version of retreading old ground. Not to say the Wily Castles are ever really my favorite themes in the series, but they're not terrible, and even when they're not the best, at least they're new. I kind of like the uh, start of this one, we're kind of just entering Wily's castle through like a sewer system or something. Of course, it's another designated Rush Marine section, so eh. I mean, technically speaking, you don't have to use Rush Marine. It's just very encouraged, and, you know, we might as well since we have it. Otherwise, it would just be a waste. Alright, so we've got a whole lot of items, which I'm not going to bother with. Uh, I believe it's the Hard Knuckle that breaks down those walls. I'm not really going to focus on those, though, because I don't want to waste Hard Knuckle. It's got okay ammunition, but it is actually a very important weapon. And yeah, I am going to be trying to use the weapons a little less. Uh, not going to completely cut them out, though, just because, like I said, I don't like uh, buster onlying this uh, this game, usually. I think using weapons is nice, actually. Uh, though that being said, still feel a little bad about using the weapons against the dock robots. And not so much because I feel bad about, you know... Uh, getting past the uh, bosses fairly easily. Just, I really don't have time to talk about the bosses themselves when I use the weapon against them. But to be fair, they were in Mega Man 2 first, so it doesn't matter that much. And priority goes to uh, Magnet Missile, not Rush Marine. Sorry, Rush Marine. Uh, but anyway, yeah. That being said, though, again, uh, I will not Buster Duel anything we fight only once, including the Wily Castle bosses. This one goes slowly anyway. So, uh, this boss's attack is throwing turtles at you. Uh, those little tornadoes that the uh, little uh, side sections shoot out don't actually damage you, they just push you, so it's really not a big deal. Uh, just don't get pushed into a thing, and yeah, the turtles do get faster and faster, but that's why Shadow Blade's good against them. It's a one-hit kill, and it's really easy to maneuver, so even when they go quickly, you're probably not going to get hit. Probably. Alright, start of this section, we have those little collapsing platforms, but I was wise to this game's tricks by this point. And, of course, we've barely used up any Shadow Blade, even though, you know, we used it for the entire boss, but, uh, that's just how that weapon rolls. Like I said, it's not as broken as Metal Blade, but that doesn't mean it's not extremely powerful in its own right. And now I'm not gonna bother with that extra life. I don't need to. This isn't too tricky, though it does actually prevent you from uh, cheaping the game out at least a little bit. It makes this harder to despawn, but with Shadow Blade that doesn't really matter, because you can just kill the both of the uh, bee and beehive. That was a weird sentence. Uh, you can kill the bee and the beehive at the same time, provided you uh, kill them when they uh, drop the beehive, the, the bee. Apparently, I'm just very bad at sentence structure when it comes to bees. Who would have guessed? Uh, this isn't really that bad a uh, rush jet section because they don't have that many obstacles, and they give you plenty of energy, just in case. Oh, but we've got a boss. Huh, this room's empty. Where could the boss be? 
Well, it's Yellow Devil. Yeah, uh... Wasn't fond of Yellow Devil in the first game, but as far as I know, there's no pause trick in this game, so we have to do this legit. So, uh, first section of the Yellow Devil fight's the worst, just because you have no idea where his segments are actually coming from. Now you at least have a visual on it, you know, you can actually see what's moving when. And with the slide, you do actually have a better chance of dodging everything, even tricky shots like this. Uh, aren't so bad because you have two methods to dodge, and that's very helpful. Uh, of course, Yellow Devil is weak to um, Hard Knuckle, and by the way, that attack is actually harder to dodge than it looks, because I got uh, hit by that quite a few times. They don't really get, give you a lot of wiggle room to slide under those. It's kind of a pain. But anyway, yeah, uh, slightly better than Mega Man 1's Yellow Devil, just because you have the slide, but I'm still really not fond of this very slow, repetitive fight, and, uh, not really fond of his weakness being, uh, the heavy knuckle, I forgot what its name was, uh, just because it's so slow, it's hard to get multiple hits off on him. But hey, we're done here. And thank goodness, because I'm really not fond of that boss at all. Alright, so, last stage we're going to be doing today... Starting right off with a guy we have to use the Magnet Missile on. Bit of a tricky uh, shot pattern, but not too bad. Especially since Magnet Missile won't actually home in on the uh, shots he produces. This guy's gonna be a bit more of a pain, but eh. Like I said, Magnet Missile's actually good for him. Though I don't want to waste too much of it. Ah. <sighs> Anyway, I can't actually remember what the gimmick of this stage is. It must not be terribly memorable. Oh, no, nope, it's just more of these dudes. Um, though I don't remember how tricky this one is. Uh, magnet's good as per usual. I guess it's just uh, good in general for this stage, which is why you don't want to waste too much of it. If you're running low, you should definitely uh, hard-knuckle those barriers that I passed by before. Which, to be fair... I had enough hard knuckle to do that to refill the hard knuckle itself. I don't know why I didn't. I'm not gonna bother wasting energy on you, there's no point. And I believe the next boss is actually one that's going to be done in the blink of an eye, so uh we're actually not quite at the boss though. Um oh yeah, this section. I forget this section exists, probably because it's not too hard. I mean, the punishment for screwing it up is death, but at the same time, I don't know, I've never had trouble with this one, personally. Alright, so, uh, we've got some random boxes up there. Uh, if you want to break those open, you get a random item. Alright, so, beware. Uh, if you jump into the top, you might accidentally hit the dude on the bottom because of uh, screen wrapping. Uh, I did right there, couldn't avoid it, but hey, top spin makes short work of this dude. The real one changes places every once in a while. Just FYI, and uh, yeah, that's the entire Mega Man clone boss. It's done already. <laughs> 